Well, good morning, everyone. I hope you guys are all feeling as fantastic as I do today. Um, I woke up this morning and I thought, that's it. Today, I'm going to do the video about how I organize my diamond painting shit. So, um, it's going to cover pretty much all the organization apart from two things. The spreadsheet that I keep, which I will uh, demo in a different video because I'm going to get into way too much detail on that. And it also is not going to keep the, it's not going to cover rather, the um, organizing solutions that I use for actually working on my paintings, like the bead storage tray, etc. Uh, I have covered that in other videos. I can do another one down the road uh, that has a little bit more in it than just the bead storage tray. Uh, but what I wanted to do today was all the other stuff. So the stuff that you can tuck away and you don't have to think about when you're diamond painting, actually diamond painting, but that you need in between paintings. So um, just to let you know, this is going to be chopped up into a bunch of different little uh, vignettes in this video, uh, which I'll stitch together maybe later today, maybe tomorrow. I don't know. I really want to get this posted because I promised it to you a few days ago. Um, all right. So I am going to set up the camera on the tripod and clear the table off a little bit and I will start. Okay. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back. So we're gonna do this in order. And we're going to start with what, how do you decide where you're gonna order paintings from? And then I'm gonna give you a caveat. Um, so the first thing is when I started, oh, hey, that was Marvin. Um, when I started, uh, watching diamond painting videos. It was probably after ordering the first three or four uh, diamond paintings because the only the only online sale places that I was aware of were eBay and Amazon. So uh, that's where I ordered my diamond, diamond paintings from and I ordered a few of them. And then uh, I started watching diamond painting videos. And um, was introduced to AliExpress. So I'm just going to sort of walk you through my little bookie here that, um, that I started, that I, that I purchased to start keeping track of, uh, my diamond painting stuff. This was before I was going to get organized enough to, um, to need a more formal organization system. So I started watching your videos and I started a uh, listing of YouTube recommended stores. Now I'm just going to blow this up a little bit. Well, yeah, you might be able to see it. It doesn't matter. Um, and uh, it doesn't matter if you can read everything that I've seen, that I've written, but, um, but just to give you an idea, I would watch a video and it would be, you know, uh, Huacan, for example. Uh, I watched a bunch of videos and I realized, oh, they're getting mixed reviews because I guess they were having problems with popping drills and things like that. Uh, Ever Moment, which I called Every Moment. And when I went on AliExpress and was trying to find it, couldn't find the store Every Moment. Anyway, I finally found it. Everybody loved Ever Moment. Um, Angel's Hand. I think that was one of mine before I started writing my own in red uh, because I did order from them and uh, I'm still waiting months later months and months and months later I'm waiting for them to send me 43 bags of missing bla uh, three tens um, so I don't know I just got confirmation this morning again that they would send it but I'll do a video on that later anyway I went through and uh, listen to your recommendations and um, when you did your openings and how happy you were, etc. 
And so I just, just made a list. At first it was just a list of the store. And then um, I started adding a little bit more detail, like, you know, who, who did I get the rating from? Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, you know, are, is there anything special? So for example, when Ella of uh, Kick and Cancer's Butt and Diamond Painting uh, did an opening of a diamond painting from the King Mufasa diamond painting store on AliExpress. Uh, she said, you know, that there were 2,000 diamonds. They came in round, hard plastic diamond storage containers, which I thought, oh, that's pretty cool. Those are the little, you know, kind of like the makeup tubes, the lip gloss tubes, uh, not tubes, but little containers that sometimes you, you find lip gloss in. Um, anyway, so I thought, that's interesting to know. Um, anyway, so this is what I did. I just kept it, I just kept track of, um, of stores that were recommended on YouTube. And so I did it with the best of intentions. But once I get on AliExpress, I don't know about you, but I get on AliExpress and I see those pay, those diamond paintings come up and I'm like, Ooh, I love that one so much. And I start buying without paying attention to the store. I mean, sometimes I am familiar with the store and and um, and so I feel good about it. And sometimes I actually read some of the reviews before I hit, you know, buy now or whatever. But, um, but sometimes I just, you know, I just don't. And that's okay because now I'm doing this not just for my own pleasure, but as a public service. So if I order from a company that is like, holy crap bad um, then you will hear about it in one of my videos and perhaps you will be saved from the same uh, bad diamond painting fate so anyway so there you go um, so I noted uh, the last thing that I because I haven't used this for a while um, the last note that I made was the paint with diamonds uh, store uh, like that that's the paint with diamonds.com because there's another paint with diamond painting with diamonds on I believe AliExpress um, and uh, Ella was saying that they're always missing diamonds well I've actually ordered a lot of stuff from paint with diamonds and they sometimes miss stuff like sometimes there's missing drills but I have never not received those drills and now that I have such a well a big stash, uh, I know that's relative to people who have much much bigger stashes than me. But now that I have such a big stash, if I have to wait a few weeks for uh, drills to come in, it's not a big deal. So there was one here. I was watching the video and it was so bad. Uh, it was another one of Ella's, and um, they they didn't even spell their the name of their well. If they did, it, they called it Pay Ting instead of Pain Ting. Prod cut market store. Anyway, um, I, I added that there instead of here. YouTube problem stores. Um, so I haven't kept as many uh, of those, and I sort of this this organizing kind of fell by the wayside after a while because I didn't care anymore. I just wanted to buy paintings. Uh, but it might be something that would be useful to one of you. I also keep the. Um, uh, I also started using this book to keep track of the videos that I'm taping and things I want to tape and stuff. And, you know, as I go through, it's like, okay, you got to remember to do this and that and the other thing in the video. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Anyway, um, so that's what I use this book for. And I'm going to be changing it. But at the back of the book, what I do, uh, and and I will show you the solution that I'm going to find, uh, that, that I'm going to use going forward. Uh, so at first I didn't realize how uh, much I would be into diamond painting and how many diamond paintings I would eventually be doing. So when I finished writing, oops, shipping address, um, when I finished writing, um, not writing, when I finished a diamond painting, I would stick it in the back of this book just you know the the page that I had printed to keep track of my orders I would just stick it back here so this one here for example is the blooming epithelium I believe it's called uh, and epithelium uh, it's a 12 by 12 that I did uh, and it that was a, actually a really really good one to start with it's a full drill round and it turned out beautifully so, uh, and I just made a, you know, little note. It, I completed it. There were no issues and no missing drills. So that was good. 
um, and just entered meant that after the fact I uh, started entering them in um, in my spreadsheet. So anyway, so I did that for a whole bunch of these, and every page is a different diamond painting. That's the abstract hummingbirds. Uh, after a while, well, you know, sometimes there would be multiple ones. Oops. Sometimes there would be multiple ones. Whoops. And I would, uh, you know, just just keep track of that I got everything. And then, so this one, it was this painting that I finished. Um, so now what I'm doing is just at the back of the book, uh, uh, that's one that I'm working on now, the crystal poppies. Uh, so Baby Boy Blue in the Moon. Uh, so I'll keep, um, you know, the, the inventory sheet, uh, when I started it, when I finished it, and I keep track of all of the notes that I make while I am, uh, working on the painting. Um, oh, home appliance repair is coming in today to fix my washing machine, they, or my dryer. They came in last week to, uh to uh, diagnose the problem, you know, some others, but, uh, and I just keep them here. What I'm gonna do is, uh, they're just taped in, so I'm gonna cut the tape and I'm going to put them in another binder uh, similar to this. So this binder looks kind of crappy because I bought it at, um, where did I buy it? I bought it at Value Village, which is a secondhand shop, and I thought, you know, like I'm spending so much money on diamond paintings and stuff, and that's fine because that's great, but I don't want to spend a fortune on, you know, all the little bits that uh, support my diamond painting. So this here, actually, that was neat because I cleaned the binder quite well before. This is, I don't know, my cats and stuff like that. So um, yesterday, I spent most of the day, I didn't shoot any videos yesterday because I spent most of the day actually printing out uh, pictures of all of my diamond paintings um because i i keep like i take a uh, photo like I, I do screenshots of the picture uh when i'm ordering it and um and i use that as a little thumbnail for my videos um so i went through and i did that i did that for all of my diamond paintings that are on order so this first section is ordered so there are ones that i'm just waiting for them to come in and you can see there's quite a lot of them and then this will be the page that goes from, you know, ordered to, oops, there were issues, and so I stick it in here, you know, I'll make note of what the issue was, I'll stick it in here, and I'll wait for the issue to be resolved, and then uh, the ones that are ready to go. So, um, so what I do is I just keep track of the stuff that I will be telling you about on the video. Uh, you know, how big it is, whether it's a partial round or square or whatever, uh, you know, if they give you the canvas size and the drill area size, I keep track of that. How much I paid, this one was shipping only. Um, you know, when I ordered it, when it was shipped, when it was delivered, and then I'll add uh, start and finish date. I, I started doing that uh, further down. Anyway, um, and so, you know, these are some of the ones. I only have a black and white printer. I, I found a color printer, and I bought new ink for it, and I went through all of the YouTube uh video recommendations for how to you know make it print in black and white in color i actually got it printing in black and white it will not print in color and so now i have two black and white printers uh so that's why all my pictures are black and white uh oh that one's upside down uh yeah so these are just uh i guess a little a little um vignette of what is com coming up so i'm i'm waiting for this big order from uh, uh from um Peggy by right now. Oh, and I put them all in alphabetical order. So it starts with Adorable Kitten, and it goes on to, what? Autumn Lake, Beach Villas, etc. So I've got two blue owls because they were free, except for shipping, and uh, they, ordered, they offered them in the 20 by 30 size, as well as the 30 by 40 size. I think there were bigger sizes too, but those were already uh, sold out. Um, so I thought for a number of these paintings, I did buy them in multiple sizes because I wanted to see just how small can you go and get decent definition. Because I know I've said on a number of videos, especially earlier on, oh, I only buy the big sizes because, you know, it's too pixelated. 
But even my own limited experience so far has shown that um, sometimes the smaller sizes come out beautiful, like the 30 by 30 uh, blooming epithelium or epithelium uh, and a few others. They've turned out really, really nice, uh, and I love them. So, so I'm I'm now I'm I'm open to change, and so I'm now uh, testing out just how small can you go. So that's ordered, shipped, delivered. Um, Oh, and I can go in and fill in the ship. I'll fill in the ship dates uh, before I do the video. Uh, okay, so so that's what I've got there. I've got, you know, like I bought multiples of this too. This one came in um, a bunch of colors. So I bought this is the blue one, and I bought the pink or the purple one, and the sepia one, etc. Um, this is gorgeous. It's in. Uh, in all kinds of different colors. Anyway, uh, this is not about the sash of, or you know my, my diamond paintings that I'm waiting for. This is about uh, how I organize. So um, you know I'm just sort of flipping through these. I can't remember how many there are. There's got to be about 52 or 53 that I'm waiting on right now. Uh, 44 of them are going to come in in a single order. Okay, and then I've got the section called issues. And again, I don't want you to see my credit card information and stuff. Um, but uh, so for this one, it was a Vincent Van Gogh that I ordered from Amazon very early on. When did I order that? Uh, September 4th. And, um, and it was missing, I don't know, maybe 20 drills of DMC 966. So it's just waiting for me to finish that. Um, and actually, I bet you I have... 966 now. Uh, yes, I do. I have some spare 966s, so I'll be able to finish this one and move it to the completed um, section. Um, so I keep the, the the inventory sheets and stuff. Uh, this is one that I did the unboxing of it around Christmas time, and uh, it was missing one bag of two different colors of drills. So uh, I just saw that those arrived in Ottawa today. So I should be getting them uh, probably tomorrow. And then what's this one? Oh, hold on. oh my goodness. Uh, I don't know where my personal information is on this. Oh, anyway, I'm just gonna kind of blah. Uh, so AliExpress, what's this? Messages from Painting with Diamond Store. Okay, oh, the, oh, this was Painting with Diamond Store. Okay, so Painting with Diamond Store on AliExpress. All right, so the reason I decided I needed to keep track of the paintings that were coming in and the paintings that I had and the paintings that I had just ordered was because I ordered two very large Klimt uh, The Kiss paintings from two different stores. And um, there was much confusion when that came in because one of them came in, well, because the first one came in and it was missing, a few, uh, it was missing a couple of colors of diamonds, at least a couple of colors. And, um, oh yeah, this was the one from Angel's Hand. And the other one was from, oh, I can't remember where. Can't remember where. I think it was Paint with Diamonds. Anyway, um... And I, so I had gotten in touch with Angel's Hand to let them know that I was missing drills. And about two weeks later, I got a whole new painting of the kiss. And I thought, wow, okay. And, and so I did the unbox, like I, I wasn't videotaping things at that time, but, um, but uh, I did my unboxing and, you know, I did the inventory and I realized, oh, okay, so they sent me everything except the black drills, which I thought that makes all the sense in the world because, you know, instead of sending me just the missing drills from the painting, they sent me a, a whole new kit, but there were 43 bags of missing black drills so that I couldn't actually do both paintings. And I thought that makes all the sense in the world. And so then I was taking the, you know, I put the two paintings on the table together, like the, the diamonds from the two paintings on the table together. And I was going to, you know, take the bags uh, that were missing and put them into the kit that I had gotten originally. And I realized none of the missing colors were in the new kit. And then I realized 
The new kit is slightly different. One was 50 by 70, the other one was, I don't know, 55 by 75 or something like that. Uh, yeah, 50 by 75, the other one was something else. And, um, and so I realized, oh my God, I ordered the same painting twice. And I had already done that with the Starry Night. I had ordered two of those. Um, and I think I did that with some, I had done that with another one of the paintings that I love the painting and I was so excited when I saw it, I bought it. And then I was so excited when I saw it a while later and I'd forgotten I bought it. So I bought it again. So anyway, so there was much back and forth because at first I was saying, you know, like I had sent them the thank you for sending me the drills and they wrote back, oh, you know, so how, you know, so thank you for sending me the new painting. And they wrote back, okay, thanks. And then I had to write them back and say, actually, you didn't send me a new painting. I got confused. I had ordered two paintings. And so since whenever, October, I have, I have been trying to get the drills for this painting for, um, so that I can uh, start on it at some point. Anyway, so I keep track of all of my correspondence with people in here. Uh, so my more, most recent correspondence has been um, just January 19th. Well, actually, January 2nd, they told me that they would uh, send the drills again. And I believe they just arrived. So I've got, uh, I've got you know, all, all my materials ready to go for that. Uh, and then these are the ones that, um, there's quite a few of them. These are all the ones that I have in in stock, if you will, in my stash. Uh, and so, what I do for this, I mean, I used to I used to keep all kinds of information, um, you know, the the invoice and all that stuff from online. Now, what I'm doing is I'm just keeping a picture of the diamond painting. Uh, I might like if I'd already printed it, I'll keep the the order information. And when I get the diamond painting, if there's a, well, sometimes I add it in here and sometimes it just goes in the drill stash, um, then I, I will also add the inventory sheet. Okay, so I'll, I'll be able to check. So then, so this is the one I'm working on. So when I'm done it, I'll just be able to take this one out and put it in uh, with my finished paintings. And then again, behind it, I've got all the other paintings that I've uh, ordered and last night I went in and I filled in all of this uh, information so that um, I can, uh, you know, kind of just flip through, uh, not necessarily this, but flip through um, my online albums of uh, the pictures of the diamond paintings that I, I have ready because I've got different uh, folders, I'll show you. Uh, at another time. Um, and I'll just be able to decide, ooh, now I feel like doing that one. So there you go. So that's what that is uh, all about. So that's what this book is. It's all my um, my orders, my issues, and my diamond paintings that are ready to go. And that's the end. Oops, that goes in here. That's the end of this section. Um, next, I'm going to do, um, okay, so next, so we've got bef before, before you, um, order, and when you're finished, which the when you're finished is going to change, and you've got the eagerly anticipating and ready to go. And then the next stage is your diamond painting comes in. What the heck do you do with it? So I'm going to pause you and I'm gonna change what's on the table. Uh, actually, I think I'm gonna to have to, yeah, I'll change what's on the table. Okay, so I'm back. Um, I actually had shot this whole section and part of the next one but for some reason, my camera did not store this. I don't know what's the matter with the phone camera. Um, but anyway, I'll do it again. It was kind of short anyway. So um, once you have ordered paintings and they come in, you need some place to store your drills. So I was just using um, like my stand-up tray of uh, like a four-door thing that I had bought at Loblaws. And... Uh, 
and it got filled up because I had ordered too many paintings and I didn't have enough room in the bottom drawers for uh, for all the drills anymore. And um, so I, was, I needed another solution. And yippee yahoo, I was visiting my father in November and it was garbage day and one of his next door neighbors had put this out at the curb um, because it was it was broken. Uh, it had a few broken areas and I thought, you know what, I can put that in my car and take it home and I can try to repair it with duct tape. And if that works, then I've got a great storage solution for nothing. And if it doesn't work, then I take it down to the garbage room and put it in the plastic recycling area. Um, so it did work. And uh, it closes tight, even though like there's a whole piece of plastic missing here, but I just sort of made a, a, a duct tape wall. And um, so all my drills for all my diamond paintings that are in my stash to do are here. Um, and I mean, I, I think you guys have seen how I how I do it. I after I after I do the inventory of the drills. I put a copy of the um, inventory sheet in the bag, and then I just toss it into my storage system. Um, this one here had significant damage done to it, and both corners were broken, but again, duct tape heals all. Uh, so all of my diamond paintings are in here. They're not in any particular order. They're just kind of thrown in. Um, maybe someday I'll try to organize them, but no, because actually I don't think I will. Because one of the neat things when I'm looking for the drills for the next painting that I'm going to do is actually going into my stash of drills and saying, oh, look, oh, yeah, I almost forgot about that one. Look at the pretty colors. Anyway, so I do that for. Uh, for all of them, you know, my wild goddess, the paint with diamonds. You know, this is one that I bought from Amazon ages ago. And, um, and I look at the colors of these drills, and I haven't been interested in doing it because, eh. But now I look at the colors of these drills, and it's like, those are beautiful. Oh, sorry, they're not in the frame. They're beautiful. Maybe I should do that one next. Plus, it would take one of my old inventory items out of inventory and onto my workspace. So anyway, this is almost full. So I am, oops, I have to, um, I have to buy another one because I have that order, well, I've got, I think three orders of paintings coming in, four maybe, uh, in total about 52 paintings. I've got as many paintings that I'm waiting for right now as all the paintings that I've ordered up until now. Um, so, yes, I'm going a little bit hog wild. Um, see, it still snaps closed. Like, it's, there's nothing wrong with this, as far as I can see. You stick it under a bed or something like that, nobody's going to see it, so I don't care. Like, I, I washed it all out and everything, although there was nothing in it. Like, there wasn't even a little bit of dust or dirt or anything in it. But anyway, so I'm very happy with this. I'm going to pause you while I put this one away, and I get out the one that I bought for the incoming shipments. So this is uh, the tote that I bought at Staples late, uh, earlier this week to store my diamond painting uh, drills in uh, for the orders that are coming my way. So that's, hold on, where's the camera? There you go. So that is the item. Um, and I got it, I think, for about $8. I can't remember exactly, but I, I thought it was a reasonable price. It was less than the Sterlite and um, Rubbermaid totes that they had, considerably less. And I thought, you know, it, it's, it's quite square. Some of them have very rounded corners. And, I mean, that's good for some things. This is actually a file box. So it's quite square. It's a nice size. And, you know, I'll be able to stack it and there won't be a lot of wasted space from, you know, rounded corners and stuff like that. So that's why I bought that and I'm very happy with that. Just going to set it aside and show you what else I bought at the Staples. So that takes care, so those two boxes take care of the drills. 
that, um, that you get with your diamond painting orders that you might have to store. And then there are the diamond paintings themselves. And I have, have watched uh, a number of videos of how people store their diamond paintings. And uh, Ella buys moving boxes from Home Depot or Lowe's or whatever. And uh, I can't remember who else that I was watching. Uh, she keeps hers rolled up in you know, a set of shelves and things like that. Uh, somebody else rolls them up and I think they've got them on little loops. Uh, I think she bought some sort of little loop system. Um, I prefer to keep my paintings flat. So I, I was actually planning on going to uh, Home Depot and buying some moving boxes. But then when I was in Staples, I saw this. And it's essentially the moving box without all the extra folds that you don't need and with little handles cut into it. So, um, so I bought three of them to start with. Uh, so this one here is my stash of paintings that are um, small. Uh, yeah, so these are my smaller size paintings. And uh, if anybody's interested, at some point I can do a review of my stash because there are quite a few that I purchased before I started shooting videos. So anyway, so I've got a bunch of them in here. And I've got two others. Let me just set this aside. Oh, I'll put it here. Okay. Um, so I'll just give you a quick taste of what else I got here. So I bought another one for my larger paintings. So this one here, I might figure out a way of um, just putting some straps on it so that I can carry it. Uh, without you know damaging the paintings and without having to use oops, without having to use two hands, but uh, yes. Yeah, so in here I've got. Let's see. I don't want to block your view. Uh, you know uh, this this lovely painting, uh, pe peacock rather. This was the first peacock I bought, and this is from my friend Carol Ann, who um, she uh, she has her entire condo is super color coordinated. So I've got a whole bunch. Uh, many of these you've seen um, me do the unboxings for. Oh, here are the two Kiss, the Kiss paintings. So, and, and I call them the Kiss number one and the Kiss number two. Uh, so they're not quite the same size. One is 50 by, uh, 50 by 75 and the other one's 50 by 70. Um, both of them were missing drills. So I actually have the drills for this one now, uh, and I can start that any time, and I might start it soon, uh, just because it's been in my inventory for such a long time. And this is the one that I'm still waiting for Angel's Hand to send me the 43 bags of 310s that were missing. Um, and then I've got my beautiful, uh, uh, I don't know what I call this one, Golden, golden Mermaid or something like that. Anyway, she's, she's in the water. There's little fishies here. Um, this was the biggest one that I had bought up until that point. Uh, it's still one of the bigger ones, 90 by 60. That's the same size as the one I just finished for my daughter uh, in November. And um, that I now have a, um, a canvas for, so I, I'll be able to frame that one and show that one to you soon. And then I got another, ah, oh, sorry, uh, another Anyway, I've got a bunch of big ones here. So these also are part of my stash of paintings that uh, that I haven't completed yet. Um, and then I bought a third one of these for my completed diamond paintings. And I'll need to buy uh, some more. Um, I need to buy at least one more of these for the paintings that are coming in. I'll probably buy two and they're quite heavy when they're finished so I don't want to put more than about 10 in each one uh, of these just simply because you know that risks me doing something bad to it so you know this these are the ones that I finished before uh, I think I've shown you some of them oh, I'm gonna pull that one out this is the one that was missing the 966 
And what I did was I just covered over with, um, with uh, sorry, with um, gift wrap tape the areas that were missing the drills uh, so that they would not get um, dusty or linty or cat fur e. Oh, and I see, see this was one of the first ones I did, so I didn't know about, uh, you know, drills that had holes and stuff like that. I just stuck them all on. So I'll be picking out the bad drills here and um, replacing them. There's quite a few bad drills here. Uh, anyway, so I'll be I'll be working on that as soon as I finish the crystal poppies. Um, but yeah, other than that, I've got my baby boy blue in the moon here that I just did the uh, post completion review on. Oh, and I don't know I don't know if I've shown you this one in the past. Uh, I will be showing it to you because I'll be doing a a framing once I figure out how I want to frame it but this here is probably my favorite diamond painting of all of them my personal favorite I've been doing ones for other people that you know they wanted um, or you know that I thought would be beautiful in their eyes but this cat tapestry that is beautiful in my eyes and I think it's absolutely gorgeous and I'll I'll do sort of a post completion and framing video for that one. Um, I got that one before I started uh, shooting videos. So, um, so yeah. Anyway, so that's, that's my, my stash of completed paintings that I still have to frame because I haven't framed any of my uh, diamond paintings. Okay, so I'm going to pause you again. And I'm going to go on to, okay, when we're done a diamond painting, what do we do with extra drills? So that'll be the last portion of this video. Just a moment. My friends, I am back. So um, what's the last thing we have to worry about with diamond paintings? Well, next to framing, uh, which I'm so terrified of trying to frame my first one. Uh, I can't even tell you how anxious I am about that. Not anxious in a good way, so anyway, um, words of encouragement would be great because I just, I've never framed anything, I've never, anyway, I've watched so many videos on how to frame and I'm just nervous as I'll get out about it. Anyway, but before you get to framing, you have to get to unkidding, so uh, organizing your leftover diamonds. So I started off with this that I bought, I think at Walmart. And it's just like a document folder. And so I was going to, because I didn't realize how many drills I was going to eventually have left over, uh, I was just gonna keep all my spare drills in here. Um, in okay, my uh, camera cut out yet again. So I don't know what the heck the problem is with my camera, but it stopped. So I think maybe the memory is filling up again. So I'm gonna have to delete a whole bunch of videos that I thought I had already deleted. So I used this, uh, or I bought this. I used it for a little while for my drills. And then it just got so fat that it was going to rip open. And so I thought, forget it. I can use that for my documents that come in the mail that, you know, until I actually file them in the filing cabinet, I can use this. Um, so that was, uh, that was my first attempt. And then like Ella, because I watched Ella's video about how she stores her uh, leftover drills. So I was in Value Village looking for cheap diamond painting uh, accessories and and frames and things and I saw this for 99 cents I think they cost like 14 bucks or 15 bucks or something like that new it was in super good condition so I thought what the heck um, and it even came with the dividers which you know I've got some in here and I've used others uh, I ordered I bought some um, I bought some uh, sleeves to put the diamonds in at Walmart and I'd ordered a bunch from uh, Amazon as well. So I've got some sleeves in here, not enough uh, to do 477 colors um, because I was thinking I'm gonna do it Ella's way. And this is where I keep my DMC uh, card as well. And I've got a video uh, unboxing this thing. So anyway, as you see, there's not a single diamond in here. Uh, and that's because I was too lazy to start labeling each and every one of these little sleeves. 
uh, because, you know, I would want to label every single sleeve so that I would know where to put my leftover diamonds. Uh, and I just got too lazy for that. So, plus, because it takes time away from diamond painting. Anything that takes time away from diamond painting or making diamond painting videos is not, well, you know, I mean, apart from my social stuff with friends and things. But even sometimes then it's like, oh, but I'm having a good time doing what I'm doing. I don't need the extra calories from lunch or whatever. Anyway, um, so I haven't really used that yet. What I was using until I um, actually got around to labeling each one of the individual little pockets in the, uh, in the trading card sleeves was just a Ziploc bag um, labeled DMC Square Extra Drills and round extra drills um, and what I did was I found online a PDF of all of the DMC colors it's called the DMC shoppers checklist and I printed a couple of copies of that and what I do now is at the end of a painting I check the box for the leftover colors and sometimes I've got uh, multiple check marks because let's see sometimes I have multiple check marks because I have multiple paintings that there were spares of that color and as we all know dye lots are not always perfect so instead of um, putting them all together in a single plastic baggie I just keep separate plastic baggies uh, from each of the individual paintings um, in my storage system. And my storage system is white envelopes. So I bought these, I think at Walmart, a hundred of them. They cost me very little. Um, and what I do, so for the round ones, are those round? No, those are square. Okay, so for my square ones, I just, I just label the envelope and um, and this one was actually uh, it was, um, 150 to 199 and then I realized that the envelope was getting too full because I had too many extra drills so I just put a sticker over that changed the number to 160 and added a new envelope into the mix so um, they're all well except for the first one they're all labeled up in the top right hand corner so I can just flip through them quickly and um, and add my new drills in. Now let me just open up uh, the 150 envelope. So you see there's just a whole bunch of, um, of little plastic baggies in here. Each one has, uh, like I just take the reusable sticker that was on uh, the Doris container or the bead container that I was using to do my diamond painting and I stick it on a plastic bag and I put a little um, dryer sheet in for most of them, not all of them. Um, and uh, and it, so it's still got the code so I mean conceivably if I lost a if I lost something off of um, a particular painting I could go back and buy the code I'd know which painting it came from. This was the Ever Moment, uh, Baby Boy Blue in the Moon, that I just um, that I just completed. They had, well, somebody was telling me there's 800 drills in the big bags, so there's about a thousand drills that were spare of the 160. Um, and uh, yes, yeah, some more from my Ever Moment. Lots more from my Ever Moment. Oh, there's actually more than than uh, a thousand because there was a few just little leftovers from the upper moment uh, there um, this is confusing but this is a 160 anyway um, so I have all these spare drills they just go in here and if the envelope gets too full I just change the uh, I just change the label on the envelope and uh, and so I've got all of well okay so and I did the same for the rounds 
And uh, because rounds, uh, you often get ones that have no DMC numbers on them. So I have one envelope in a plastic bag because it's starting to get pretty fat. Um, that uh, that just has my spare drills that have no DMC numbers on them. So my project, maybe for later today, I don't know, um, is, uh, is to uh, find the DMC number for these according to the DMC color chart. Um, but then my round drills, they're organized exactly the same way. I've got the, the page that I printed off the internet. I tick off uh, every time there's a color. Um, multiple ticks indicate that there are multiple paintings that I had leftovers from. Um, so this is working very well for me, except that the plastic bags are getting too full. So I have a solution for that. They're plastic shoe boxes. So you can buy them anywhere. I got these at uh, Home Depot back in 2015 when I was moving into my condo because I, I wanted something to put, not shoes, but I wanted something to put little things in. Um, you know, like the stuff that collects in your bathroom drawers or under the bathroom sink. I don't know about you, but I've got so many fancy little soaps and things like that that people give me. Um, and so I've got about five or six of these stacked uh, under my bathroom sink full of all those little odds and ends. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'll take this, like I'll put it in a baggie and take the baggie to the lid. Um, but then I'll just be sticking these uh, envelopes in here and as it turns out they fit pretty nicely uh, and if you know if they have to be on a bit of a slant that's not the worst thing in the world and there's plenty of room for expansion of the envelopes there. and that way I can actually see the um, the numbers better and it'll be easier to, to organize them I'm just going to stick this in here so that I so that just so that I can keep track of which ones are rounds and which ones are squares. But I'll be getting rid of that bag. Actually, I won't be getting rid of it. I'll be using it to store uh, drills for other big paintings that come in because I I don't throw anything away. Um, so that's one, and then here's number two. And voila! And again, like if, if these bags get filled up, or if the envelopes get filled up, no big deal. I just relabel the envelopes with, uh, you know, I change the I change the number on the one that I want to that I on the bag that I want to split. I change that number to let's say seven, you know, fifty two. And then put a new envelope in here that's 753 to 799, and and that way this is an ever expandable uh, storage system that takes essentially no thought, is super super cheap. Uh, hold on, I've got some of these upside down because I wanted to make better space. There we go. Um, yeah, so I'm pretty happy with. Uh, with my thinking on doing this. Um, sometimes I can be smart. Um, wish that happened more often. Anyway, so that's it. That is my storage solutions. And this is the video that I've been meaning to shoot for uh, probably about a week now. And I finally done it. And I hope you enjoy it. And if you do, let me know by giving me a thumbs up. Um, you can subscribe to my channel if you like. And even if you don't, that's fine. Just keep coming back and visiting me. And, um, and leave me comments. If you've got other suggestions, I would love to hear them because I'm always looking to improve uh, the way I, I do things and to simplify the way I do things. 
So, um, so yeah, I love your comments. And, uh, and I now have the uh, Gmail email address. Um, it's ramblingrosedp, all one word, at gmail.com. I'll put that in, uh, in a little footer card here if I remember, or I'll put it in, uh, I'll put it in the description for the video. Uh, so if you've got other ideas, you can either email me or share them with the rest of the community uh, in a comment. Uh, if you've got photos and things, you can send them to me at my email address. Um, or personal questions, well, personal questions, I mean stuff that you don't necessarily want to be putting out to, uh, to the entire community. Um, hopefully the email address will, uh, will help. I know I've had, um, Arlene was uh, saying that she prefers Messenger because uh, Gmail has the limit on the size of photos or the number, like the, the memory uh, for the photos. Um, when I got rid of Facebook, I also got rid of Messenger. Um, I just don't like how they, how they treat my information. Um, and so I, I personally, I'm not going to reward a company that, uh, that, that does what I consider unethical things with my personal information and yours. So anyway, so that's me. Uh, and there you go. So I hope that you have the most fantastic day that you've had yet this year, but I hope it's nowhere near as fantastic as tomorrow will be. Okay, so this is Rose signing out. Bye-bye.